that fall time of year again, and in certain parts of the country, that means the trees are changing all sorts of pretty colors. But unfortunately, that also means piles of leaves, sticks, and pine needles in front of their houses too. But the piles aren't just growing in front of houses, they're also growing underneath the hoods of cars. And after my recent headlight lens restoration video, someone pointed out, I've got a pile underneath the hood of my car. And they said that's not the greatest idea. And you know what? That's a great tip. Let's move in a little bit closer and I'll show you why. Now normally I keep the underhood of my car pretty clean. It just so happens I have a lot of trees around my house. But there's a number of reasons why it's important to keep this area clean. Underneath this cowl piece here, there's a number of drain holes so that water can't get inside of the car. That's because this is where the HVAC control unit sucks in all the air. Now if you got leaves up here, it could put extra stress on the blower motor. And on some vehicles, the cabin air filter is located under here. So if you got leaves on top of that too, you're also putting additional stress there. And if you got wet leaves and stuff like that on top of the cabin air filter, it could end up stinking on the inside of the car. Now once we get inside the car, the HVAC control unit has drain holes at the bottom of it. I'm sure during the summertime you notice that drip from your AC system, that's where it's coming from. Now if that's plugged, you could get water intrusion on the inside of the vehicle. On top of that, you could be wearing out the heater core and evaporator core prematurely. So really important to keep this area clean. All you have to do is use your hands, pick them up, toss them away, or you can even get a shop vac in here and suck it all up. But that being said, it's very important to keep this area clean.